Hey, welcome to Joe's Multiverse. I'm Joe, and today the universe we're going to be visiting is Flashpoint. We're going to be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Flashpoint Batman figure. And I'm also going to be comparing it to an older Batman figure from the Justice League. So let's get right into it. And just look at him in all his Batman glory. The Batman from Flashpoint. Bruce's dad as Batman. Looking very cool. What we got going on the side here? Eh, not a whole lot. Batman Flashpoint. And we got some really nice artwork there on the back. Looking very cool. Got some pictures of the other figures. We got a Joker, a Flash, another Batman. We got Azrael there. We have the Green Lantern Batman. All right. Well, let's see what McFarlane has to offer. Let's release the bat. All right. Well, I don't think that they're going to focus too well in my hand, having a hard time with that. But there they are. Usually don't get a couple of guns shooting bullets with a Batman figure but this Batman takes no prisoners he's a far more aggressive Batman alright and there he is in all his flashpoint glory got the guns tucked in there on each side only getting the two open hands with this figure. So let's take a closer look. A little, a little squeaky, a little, a little stiff. That's all right. Better than a little stiff than all loosey goosey. A little turn around. Oh, his head does do an exorcist spin. Yeah, let's see. Looking up. Oh, about that much it looks like. And how much can he look down on the Gotham streets? Not too bad. Got this nice pliable cape. And these sharp pointy shoulders on his cape there. I can probably do a once around. A little another once around. Uh, got some double elbows going there. Not too bad. Got the, the hands and the wrists moving around nicely. How much can he wave his hands in the air and not even care? Let's see here. Uh, with the cape. Hands in the air. Batman. Yeah, not too bad. See, uh, I'm not too concerned. I'm not as afraid to move a figure like this, like a Marvel Legends or a DC, as much as I am with like a Black Series for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just in my head. But um, I feel like they can be moved, be moved around some more. Looks like inside, really can see how that... It's not really the gloves or the gauntlets. You can kind of almost like see inside like they're really slipped on. Got a little bit of spacing in his uh, wrists there. But that doesn't bother me. I know a lot of people have had some problems with this uh, spacing of his ankles. But when he's standing there, he can't. I mean, that's, that's real nitpicky but doesn't bother me this is a great figure in my opinion and a little bit of an ab crunch not not too much forward but back but it's got looks like it's got kind of a hole there but I won't be posing him too much like that I'm too psyched that I actually found this guy to focus on too much of the flaws or 
I wouldn't go as far as calling them defects, but see these, these are movable here as gun holsters. How much can he do the splits? A eh, fair amount. Not as much as old Marty McFly, but you can get it. Elbows are nice. Got the two times knee bends. And with that big spacing, that's got some rocking ankles and pivot and all that good stuff. Even on the ends of his boots here, they go up to really get them into some some nice posing. A little, a little looser than I would hope, but it looks like he broke his damn foot. <laughs> but pretty cool. Very excited. He'll get his guns in his hands and put him in a shootout pose here. All right. There he is looking very menacing, very aggressive, very dark and dangerous. The Batman from Flashpoint. I like how his cape doesn't quite touch the ground there. He stands very good without having to lean back on that at all. A very good looking figure. Even if this figure would have been abundant and tons of them on the pegs that I've been seeing for the last few months, he, I still would be very, very happy that I got him. It's not just because uh, that I feel like it was a, a once in a hunt find or anything. I was, I was really excited when I saw this figure and really wanting to get it one day and hoping I wouldn't have to find it on the secondary market at 30 40 50 plus dollars I was very happy to find him as you can tell if you seen my last toy hunt but he is looking cool he is dope all right let's take a look here we have the Batman from the Justice League released I believe in 2017 and we have the freshly released Batman from the Flashpoint. Both looking not too bad, but there is a big difference. Um, we saw the articulation to the Flashpoint Batman. And looking at the Justice League Batman, his arms, that's about as far as they go. They got full rotation, they got pivot and all that stuff, but as far as bending the elbow, that's all we got. We got about as much of an ab crunch as the Flashpoint Batman. About that much up and down movement it does do an Exorcist 360 on the head does a better job at doing the splits would make Marty McFly blush if you've seen my review on the ultimate Marty McFly uh, doesn't have the double knee joint dealy bob no ankle pivot for the Justice League Batman no toe articulation, but it does have some nice gold uh, paint there on the on the boots. And we got the cloth cape. A little bit of a uh, five o'clock shadow on the chin there as well. I wonder what a Ben Affleck Batman would look like if McFarlane designed one. But this is a not close at all. <laughs> this is uh, two totally different types of figures. I'm so glad that McFarlane has taken the reins for these and really made them uh, a lot better quality in my opinion. These these old multiverse figures just always seemed a little 
on the cheap side or I don't want to go as far as saying generic but I'm kind of embarrassed that I have so many of them but they do look good with all the Batmans together when you have a, a, a large collection of Batman figures so that that is on the plus side anyway but this is more of a flashpoint batman figure review but wanted to see how they stacked up against each other i'm batman batman i'm, I'm batman. batman i'm, I'm batman. batman i'm batman, batman. Okay, now for the Joe's Multiverse ranking system. Number one, do I know this character? I do. I definitely know this Batman. I know the animated movie he comes from, so he is going to get a big five for that. Do I like this character? I like this character a lot. I think he played a great part in that movie, and I am giving that as a five as well. You can probably see where we're going with this. How much I like this figure. I love this figure. I think right now this is my favorite Batman figure. Today, anyway. And probably tomorrow. Do I think, or how much does this fit in the wave? Hey, it's all Batman stuff. It fits in the wave just fine. Uh, the story with the other figures uh, wasn't exactly the same Joker in that one. But... Um, you know, let's see. Uh, the Flash, that fits in there good. The other Batman, it's just a... I, I do like the other Batman that comes in this wave, but that's not in the story. Azrael is not in the story. And this Green Lantern Batman. So, I guess, all honesty, uh, does it fit? Uh, it doesn't really fit in the wave if you're looking at it that way but it is a batman figure so being biased and because it's my ranking i'm gonna give it a four what the hell and how lucky do i feel to have found this figure i'm very fortunate i am very grateful i am very lucky i put my luck into the whole equation with getting up early going to find figures and I was there early enough before they got bought up and I took advantage of the opportunity so um, a big five for that as well all right with a possible 25 out of 25 with Joe's multiverse ranking system Batman gets a 24 how about that all right, does anybody else out there have this figure? Let me know down in the comments below. Well, there you have it, the Flashpoint Batman figure. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for taking a look at that with me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit the bell and you'll be notified uh, of videos coming out. I'm coming out with them all the time. All right, thanks again. And we will see you next time when we enter the multiverse. See you later.